that is my, wait, what did I call this? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rick and welcome back to Sweet Heat, the show where everything I make is a little bit sweet and a little bit spicy. And today, because it's the new year and because, you know, we probably ate a lot or I ate a lot of sweets and a lot of fat over the holidays, I want to feel, you know, good about what I'm eating. And so I'm not going to add any sugar. I know, surprise, surprise. But the vegetables that I've chosen are actually a little on the sweet side. So today the sweet is going to come from sweet potatoes and roasted beets, which I love, love, love. Also, my heat is coming from habanero, which I love, and it's gonna give it a really nice counterpoint. So we're gonna have like all the sweet caramelly flavors of the vegetables, but then that really big punch from the habanero. And I'm gonna make you a spicy green tahini sauce, which I love uh, because it pa pairs really well with, the, uh, with all the vegetables and it's gonna make things seem a little bit more substantial and you're not gonna get hungry after the first 30 minutes after you've eaten it. And as always, if you wanna see more Sweet Heat, you will get notified anytime there's a new episode of Sweet Heat. So like and subscribe. Because it's winter, one of the things that I really love about January and February is it's also citrus season. And so I found some beautiful grapefruits, red ruby grapefruits, and some beautiful oranges. I'm also using some beautiful limes. These are key limes, which are gonna add a, a really nice little bit of zest and uh, acid that's gonna cut through a lot of the sweetness. We're also gonna be using the gamotes or sweet potatoes and beets, um, which I love. And those are gonna really provide the sweet part of this. And I'm also gonna use a poblano because I love the crunch of it. Um, you know, this dish is going to be part roasted and part raw. So this way we're gonna have the roasty vegetables which are gonna satisfy us, but we're also gonna have like that really nice crunch from some of the raw. And this is my tahini. And it's gonna make a really beautiful tahini cream with herbs and spices. And for a little extra crunch and texture, I'm gonna be using pepitas, peanuts, and pistachios to make a little kind of a spicy nut blend. So for the herbs, I'm gonna be using basil and mint today, mainly because I really like them, but also I grow them on my patio. So I just went out there, snipped them. You can use whatever you want, whatever's in season, whatever looks best at the grocery store or whatever you like. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prep the roasting vegetables. For the beets, I actually, well actually both the beets and the sweet potatoes, I actually just throw them directly into the oven, put them on the rack. I don't actually even use a sheet tray. You can if you want to, but I feel like there's no need to get anything dirty. What I am gonna do, however, is trim the greens off the beets. So all I'm gonna do is just trim the beets. I put a piece of parchment down over my cutting board. The red beets stain very, very easily. So anytime I'm cutting beets, I usually use gloves or I line my, my cutting board with either parchment or with plastic, just to make sure that I don't stain the wood or don't stain the plastic. I'm gonna just take the greens off, all of them. So those are ready to go. I'm gonna save these for our salad and I don't even need to do anything with the sweet potato. A lot of people talk about poke it with a fork or poke it with a knife. I've done it both ways and I see no difference. So I am just going to throw this in as is. So my sweet potatoes and my beets are done. I'm gonna show you a little trick. This is a little bit extra, but you know, that's just kind of the way I am. So what I love to do with sweet potatoes is to roast them twice. So I roasted it the first time and we've concentrated the flavors. You can see it's like shrunk quite a bit, but what I like to do is, you don't even have to have a knife, just break it up with your hands. We're basically just going to make double baked crispy potato skins. I think that they just like get so much better when you break them up. Drizzle a little olive oil, salt. They're so, so good. Oh my God. I put a measured amount of olive oil in this, but really like you just want to coat them really well. And I'm using a squeeze bottle because I think it just makes cooking a lot easier. And then just sprinkle some beautiful salt. Oh, it's going to be so good. So these go back into a hot oven for 
about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your sweet potato. You just kind of have to watch it, but they're gonna be amazing. So this is where the gloves come into play. And these are my roasted beets. So you can see, actually, they're, they're a little bit dry looking. Um, it's because we've taken out a lot of the moisture. The actual flesh has shrunk. They're a lot more sweet. The flavors are more concentrated. It's all the things that I love. You can actually just kind of pull the skin directly off. But then where, if there's any places where it kind of sticks, you can just use your paring knife to take it off. Uh, so like up here at the crown, I'm going to go ahead and just peel that off. And then you can just stick your knife up under the skin and then just pull down. All right. So that's one beet peeled. Okay. So now that these are cut, what I like to do is I'm just going to cut them in wedges. When you get just a, a nice wedge of beet, it looks like what you're eating. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, while I still have my gloves on, I'm going to prep my habanero. If you are scared of heat, uh, probably don't wanna use an habanero. If you like heat or like habanero, it might be good to start with half and then just taste. Um, it's, I think at half a habanero, this sauce is like a nice gentle kind of warm heat on the back end. Both halves actually will get you something probably more like a spicy salsa, which is what I like. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a good blender, so I'm just going to throw the halves in and I'm going to use fresh lime juice. So this is a, going to be a quarter cup of fresh lime juice. I'm using key limes because they are delicious. This goes directly into the blender. I'm going to pour one cup of tahini into the blender. I love this sauce because you just throw everything in and that's all you do. Like it's such an easy sauce. It lasts for a really long time. It's great with crudite. I've eaten it with tostadas and totopos and tacos, uh, garlic. So this is another way I'm gonna add a little bit more heat in there. I'm gonna put three cloves of garlic, although these are gigantic garlic cloves, so I may actually just put two. And I'm just gonna throw those in. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of kosher salt. That's about eight grams. And what else, what am I missing? Oh, the herbs. I have written in the recipe uh, to use three quarters of a cup of herbs. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Oh, it smells so good. And those just go in. My mint, I think these stems are a little bit more tender, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the stems in. But for the woodier stems, I wouldn't put them in. They're gonna add more fiber, which in this case is probably not a good thing. It just feels like you're eating something healthy. It's really colorful, but there's something about eating green, particularly in January, that is just very, very comforting to me. And so the only other thing to add to this is one cup of water. I just put this back in my measuring cup with the tahini to scrape up all the tahini bits and then just pour that right in. And now we're ready to blend. Super easy blender sauce. I'm gonna start at low speed and then crank it up to high and get everything nice and blended. Mm. Wow. It's really good. Oh, and I love, even with the whole habanero in there, it like, it doesn't hit you until the end. Like you get like the, you get the herbs, the mint and the basil are like really coming through, the basil especially. Mm. The sharpness of the lime and then that just like nice gentle heat at the end. to add a serrano. This is probably a little bit overkill, but I love the flavor of serranos. I also just like the idea of these little round serranos being sprinkled over top. And I like heat, obviously. 
So because I was able to get these beautiful beet greens on my beets, this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna take them off of the, or take the stems off, cause they're a little bit harder to eat. And so now I'm just going to kind of roll this up, kind of like I would if I was cutting basil or Swiss chard. And I'm gonna just cut them into little ribbons. Also, it helps them to soften up in the acid that we're gonna use. It's just a really quick dressing of olive oil, lemon juice, and salt. All right, so turning on the skillet. What I really wanna do is I wanna pull out some of the really toasty, beautiful flavors in these nuts. So I'm using pistachios, peanuts, and pepitas, but use whatever combo you like. This is two tablespoons of each. While this pan is heating up and those are getting toasty, I'm gonna add my other ingredients to this. So it's two tablespoons of raw sesame seeds, one teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, one teaspoon of dried oregano, preferably Mexican, and one teaspoon of whole coriander seeds. And lastly, a little more heat because, you know, sweet heat, one quarter teaspoon of ground chili de arbol. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing these in two steps is because those nuts are larger and they're gonna take a little bit more time to toast up. These are very, very small and will burn very easily. So we're just gonna do it in two steps. So you're gonna start to hear the pepitas popping, sort of like popcorn. That just means that they're getting nice and toasty on the inside. And they'll start to smell a little fragrant. All right, so the skillet is very hot. So I'm gonna add in the rest of our smaller ingredients and I'm gonna move them around really quickly because they will go very fast. In fact, I'm gonna cut the heat because I'm a little concerned this pan is really super hot. And if you're sensitive to heat, the, uh, the chili de arbol is going to be the uh, nature's tear gas, or what do you call it? Okay, I can finally kind of feel it in the back of my throat now. Oof, yeah. All right, that looks really good. And so that just goes in and we are done. And these are my beautiful twice baked sweet potatoes. They smell so good. They sound good. Yeah. <laughs> Here, listen. ASMR. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw down some of this beautiful tahini cream. So I have a bowl. So basically this is gonna be my saucing bowl. And like I said, the sauce in this dish is really, really easy. It's basically just olive oil, fresh lime juice, and salt. And all right, we're just gonna put this in the very center of our plate. Beautiful. Now the poblanos, same thing. Olive oil, lime juice, salt, easy peasy. Uh, if you wanted to, you could do everything in one giant bowl at the same time, but I just feel like this is prettier this way. And, you know, even if you're eating for one, your food should be beautiful. Who's next? Uh, I think I'm going to throw down a little bit of my grapefruit, which I'm super excited about. I love grapefruit so much. Okay. I'm gonna get a little piece of sweet potato. I'm gonna find one that, actually I'm gonna find two that have really, really crispy skin. That, oh, so good. Uh, beets, okay. So beets, the only thing about the beets is if you're gonna use the same bowl, make sure that you do the beets at the very end because they will bleed. And the first time I made this dish, I uh, did the beets first and then did everything else and then everything else turned red. But anyway, I was all alone, so nobody knew except me and now you. A little bit more. Yeah, all of the internet. And all of the internet knows, that's fine, whatever. We're all friends, it's all good. All right. Beets are gonna take a lot of lime juice, or I like a lot of lime juice because there's a lot of sweetness to cut through. 
and I'm just gonna arrange these here. I'm gonna try and not touch them so I don't get red all over my hands. Oh my gosh, okay, but we're not done yet. Okay, so I've got a little bit more white and green to add. So we've got our scallion or spring onion plus our serrano because, you know, we need a little extra heat. And lastly, we have all of our toasted seeds and nuts, which smell so good. I'm just gonna throw those down. Oh, so good, so, so good. I'm so excited about this. And this is my roasted and raw vegetables with spicy tahini cream. Okay, I can't wait to get in here. You know, it's funny because no matter how often I eat roasted beets and roasted sweet potatoes, I can't wait to get in for more. So I'm going to go in, I'm going in for beets first because I, I don't know, there's just something about them. They're earthy, they're sweet. I'm gonna get a lot of this cream in there. Get a big bite. Mm. It's a very big bite. <laughs> the tahini is so herby and it's so flavorful. You get that first, and then the sweetness from the beet kind of cuts through it. And there's a, like the little hint of acidity with the lime is really nice because it just sort of cleans your palate off. And now I'm getting the heat both from the serrano and the habanero. This is. This is the healthy sweet heat dish, um, which I am not mad at at all. Um, and by the way, no sugar added. Only sugar here is grapefruit, beets, and sweet potato. I'm very proud of myself. I'm going in for sweet potato next because I can. Huh. Mm. That is a really, really sweet sweet potato. Yeah. And see something like that, it really needs that heat to kind of pull it out of like sweet land. I mean, cause that was actually very nearly candy territory. So this is such a really great dish. And the best part about it is I actually feel good. I feel like if I finish this entire plate, I will be doing very, very well for my body. I will feel good after. I might even go to the gym later today, but don't worry because next week I'm sure I'll be using a lot of lard and a lot of sugar. So stay tuned. Make sure you click like and subscribe and you'll know exactly when I create something with lots of sweet, sticky pork.